everyone, it's Zoe from the Scratch team, also known as Zinnia. Today I wanted to show you how to make a jumping game in Scratch. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make a game like this one, where you can have a character jumping over moving obstacles. We'll do this in five steps. Make your character jump, make a moving obstacle, stop the game, add more obstacles, and keep score. Let's get started. So first, let's pick a character and make it jump. You can pick any character you want. I will pick the chick. And let's also choose a backdrop. I'll use the blue sky. To make the character jump upwards, we can use this block, change Y by 10. And if we make it repeat that 10 times, it'll go up really high. Now, we also want it to come back down. To do this, we can change Y by negative 10. And let's put that in a repeat loop too. Nice. It would be fun for the character to jump when we press the space key, so we can add the when space key pressed block on top, and then we can make it jump with space. We can also enhance the jump by making it play a sound, so we can just add this block, start sound, chirp. Nice, now our character can jump. Next, let's make a moving obstacle so our character has something to jump over. First, let's pick an obstacle. It could be anything you'd like it to be. I'll pick the egg. I'm actually gonna make the egg a little smaller by setting its size to 80. You want the obstacle to be a bit smaller than your character so your character can jump over it. Now, we want our obstacle to start at this side of the screen and glide over to this side of the screen. First, how do we tell the egg to start over here? We can tell it to go to a certain position with this block, go to X and Y. In Scratch, every position on the stage has a certain number X and a certain number Y. In case it's your first time seeing this, X represents how far your sprite is from this side of the screen to this side of the screen, so side to side, and Y represents how high up your sprite is. So we need to tell the egg to go to this spot right here. Here's an easy way to do that. Just drag the egg to where you want it to go. And then the go to block in the menu over here actually updates to the exact X and Y of that spot. So we can just drag this block out. And then to make the egg glide across the screen, we can use this block, glide to X, Y, which makes a sprite glide smoothly to a certain place. We want the egg to glide to here, so we can just drag the egg over here, and then this glide block in the menu updates to the X and Y of this spot. So we can just drag that out too, and connect it, and now the egg can glide across the screen. Now, the egg glided once, but we want more eggs to keep coming. We can do that by putting this in a forever loop, and let's make this start when we click the green flag. Gliding across the screen in just one second is a little fast, so let's make the egg take three seconds to glide across the screen. Now we can jump over obstacles. Next, let's make the game stop if we run into the egg. There's this block, stop all, that will stop everything in your project. And we can make the egg wait until it's touching the chick. And then if it does run into the chick, have it stop the game. Let's try that out. I'll purposefully not jump. There you go, everything stopped. And let's fix this problem. Sometimes the chick gets stuck in the air uh, because its code gets stopped when it runs into the egg, but it might not have been finished with its jump, so it's just frozen there. So we can fix this by making the chick go to a starting position when the game starts. So I'll put my chick where I want it to start, and then I will drag out a go to block, which will be set to that X and Y of that spot, and make that happen when you click the green flag. There we go. Now, to make our game even more fun, let's add more obstacles. It's actually really easy to do that. Just right click on the egg and click duplicate. Now we have another egg with all the same code as the first egg, so it will glide just like the first egg does. Let's try it out. So we can't see the second egg. That's because it's right on top of the first egg. They have the exact same code, so they're gliding at the exact same time. So let's make the second egg wait one second before it starts gliding so that they're spaced out from each other. Now, this looks good, except this egg is just sitting in the middle of the screen while it waits for one second. So let's make it hide when the project starts so it'll be invisible, and then make it show once it's done waiting. That looks much better. And lastly, let's add a score so the player earns points every time they jump over the egg. To do this, let's make a variable. In Scratch, you can use a variable to keep track of a certain number in your project. So I'll make a variable called score, and we'll use it to keep track of the player's score. Every time the player manages to complete a jump, we can increase their score by one. Nice. And when the player loses and the project restarts, we can set their score back to zero. There we go. That's a jumping game. I hope this tutorial helped you out. There are lots of other things you could try. You could have multiple kinds of obstacles. You could have, once the player reaches a certain score, the backdrop changes, so it's like they went to level two. I can't wait to see all the things you make. Well, I'll see you next time. And scratch on.